Hello everyone and welcome to what I would say is an interesting video and one I am a little bit concerned about. So at the top you can see wind speeds here. We've got a headwind on the left and we have a tailwind on the right and we're at Gone With The Wind, the Slipstream Challenge. So you may have seen this one before or even done it already in Gran Turismo 7. But basically you just got Slipstream way past all the way to the end of the Mulsanne. Um, straight and hopefully you should hit the miles an hour that you need which is 248.5 and get the nice gold trophy so what we're going to do we're going to set off here so we've got 6.3 um, wind speed on the left 5.6 on the right and if you look already as we hit start we are already 2 miles an hour ahead this is totally controlled by the AI so this is significant okay and we're going to follow this through as we go down the straight here. We're going to keep an eye on that wind speed, which doesn't really change. I did see it change on the odd run, uh, but not on this run in this situation. Now, look at this. Because of the tailwind, we're now up to six miles an hour difference. We've gone from two to six, and we've not changed anything here. Now, one significant thing I found with this challenge is that the cars would differ in their positions based on that wind position, because obviously some of them have higher drag coefficients than other cars. So it really made a massive difference. And as you can see on the right, we're already catching the Eventador well into the 250s. And we're actually going to get our record there, 254.8. While on the left, we didn't even get gold. We did not get gold. Now, this is my problem with wind being in, uh, sort of involved in the racing in Gran Turismo. Every other game I've played where they've tried to simulate wind in this kind of environment has done it to extremes and what it's done is it's absolutely killed time trialing but it also kills things like this licenses challenges because it changes each time you do it so you have to keep retrying every single time now that's not too bad for a mission however it gets a bit more important in sport mode so let's jump to sport mode now here we have daily race a high speed ring and on the left we have a headwind and on the right we have a tailwind exactly the same and i've done this based on the start finish straight only so left is a, tail, um, a headwind on the straight right is a tailwind on the straight and we're going to follow this all the way to the line now you can see i've taken the same line you see different weather as well this could be impactful in terms of grip hotter tracks grippier tires potentially i don't know i've not really tested that thoroughly but as we head towards this line and we're going to stop it here just before the line using the board at the top. So we know it's identical here. Two miles an hour difference. Two miles an hour difference. Obviously in kilometers an hour, that would be more specific, of course. But critically, two miles an hour. This is time trial. This is where you're trying to set a qualifying time trial for the leaderboards on high speed ring. You might be competing with your friends. You might be trying to get that rank one time. And now, now you're impacted by the wind the wind and it doesn't impact just accelerating it impacts braking it impacts everything you can think about in this game balance of performance on cars when that becomes a feature in terms of the competition racing it will impact balance of performance the higher power cars the cars that really really can dig down and build that extra speed are going to benefit massively with a headwind versus the ones that don't have that power don't have that acceleration and really struggle with a headwind Likewise, with the tailwind, they may push on even further. Very, very critical this, and I don't really like it. I'm not sure about you guys. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section, of course. But to me, I don't want it featured. I want it in the races. I think it's very good to have in a race because everyone has the same situation. However, in the qualifying and the missions, no, I really don't like this. What I'll do is I'll show you the leaderboard from the gun with the wind, and I'll show you the impact because I just basically kept retrying to get the tailwind and got a huge speed uh, and then i'll also show you uh, how you can then reset this to get your benefits but however critically i want it gone from time trial and missions and such where it is just literally a leaderboard anyway let's have a look at that leaderboard first of all just to show you the impact of this so here we have that leaderboard then and look at that 1.3 miles an hour quicker that is significant yes the slip streaming could have been a little bit better potentially who knows but critically, it is all because of that tailwind. Let's be honest here. It is. And I did several runs at different speeds. And literally, a stronger tailwind meant a stronger result in most situations. There's variations depending on where the AI cars, but that was it. And that's the reason why I'm showing you this. Because this is going to be significant on daily races where you're doing the qualifying time trials. Somebody gets a tailwind, they could do a worse lap, but get a better time. Now, I'm going to show you now how to reset the wind, or not reset, but keep retrying so you get the best wind, and you're going to have to be careful then about retrying as well. 
So here I'm going to show you now how to reset it. So when you come back to this menu and click start, it should be fine and stay the same. It's when you exit and then click start. Notice the wind change, exit, start. The wind changes again. If you hit retry, it stays the same. So you just have to be careful of that. But literally, this is what I was doing to reset the wind. And look, I'm just constantly looking for the wind that I want over and over and over again. Now, this is different to how it works for daily races, which is even weirder. So I don't know why it's different, but it is. Let's jump to daily races and I'll show you how to reset the wind there. So here we are at high speed ring and this is all you do. You just keep, keep clicking retry. So if you get a favorable wind, you can't click retry. You're just going to have to keep finishing your laps and going round because otherwise you're going to reset your wind and maybe then get the wrong wind that you don't want, which is all a bit annoying and frustrating in my view, especially if you want to get the best lap time you can in order to get a better qualifying position for that daily race or competition race as we go forward. What are your thoughts on this then, folks? Do you like the fat wins included? Do you not like it? Do you just want it in races? Do you think it's fine as it is in missions and time trial as it is? I'd be, I'd love to hear your opinions on this because me, for, for me personally, I think it makes a major, major impact in a lot of things. It impacts the balance of performance. We haven't really seen that much, but there's some going soon on that. Uh, it impacts time trialing, as we've seen here. It impacts a lot of things in terms of you trying to better yourself. So I'm not too sure about it. I'd personally want it um, literally just in the races. I think that would be better if everyone in the same race has the same like picture and scenario and race settings, basically, where the wind changes just in that race. Anyway, that's going to be it for me now, folks. Two videos there if you want to check them out. My logo's there if you want to subscribe. Please do leave a like on the way out, and I hope to see you in another video or live stream very soon.